devoted chosen. Such misplaced zeal, their eyes remain closed to the true path. Not like you. Welcome back to another wild gold making video. Today we'll be covering Broken Shore Farm and also updated gold challenge. Plus we're going to be showing you Alpha Shadowlands at the end of the video. Before we get into this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to get notified when I release my new content and all the juicy gold guides. Alright guys, so I just want to actually show this spot. This is a spot I used on my gold challenge for one of the days. I do want to say right now that this is a great spot when it comes to the world quest that pops up here. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know the name exactly, but I'll look it up and if I do find it, I will put it as a, you know, just a text here. But I will say right now that this farm is decent even without it, but it's not even close to being the best within that hour. Now, as you can see on screen, I do have the first hour. This first hour is going to give you 3,349 raw gold now it might not seem much to you but i will ensure you that when this quest is up it's gonna double if not more than double the gold value i've showed you a video which i'll link in the description that shows a whole hour done with the world quest i'm gonna say right now there's a lot of instant respawn spots but this one is the best and the reason why it's the best guys is because they literally come back right when you kill them i'm not talking about a second or two seconds later to come back they literally just respawn even here without the quest you're gonna see people just go crazy now don't get me wrong there's not crazy people coming out of here and actually going ham on this you're probably gonna be see only yourself because this is not a known spot now whenever the quest comes up it lasts about 16 hours and you guess where you got your window up now when that quest is up you're gonna notice that nothing drops that are greens now tokens do drop those things go for you know 7 to 15 gold but i will say right now that's not what you're here for you're here for the trash items those trash items are going to be worth more than actually gear is crazy i know guys but you know for a fact that if someone comes here and sees that there's nothing dropping they're like oh man this is just trash they're going to take off and go to a known spot that you know i've showed you before or someone else showed them and honestly that's really good for you and you know you're farming because people are not going to bother you you're going to be like ha ha they don't know that it's going to give you this much and you don't have to worry about others now again wait until world quest is up and right when the world quest is up just go ham here because there's a lot more plus have the zookeeper enchantment for your shoulders which in turn will give you pile of pet goodies i will say right now that it varies when you get shiny pet charms from them but i will say that if you're doing legion content and you constantly have this on you constantly get those you know bags you're gonna actually add up and those pets go for a lot that's for another video i did show it on the past video so do that guys now i do want to say too as well that there's a big rep bonus right now if you want to actually have me do a video that shows you you know how to do all legion stuff and how much you can get from zero rep all the way up if you do this let me know in the comments below i mean honestly if you're having problem with rep i will help you in the comment section but if you want a video of it i can do it too as well guys but right now i'm gonna say right now do not try to get the demon soul stones okay a lot of people are like oh man i gotta go to argus and you know i gotta you know destroy rares and try to get one of those i'm gonna tell you right now how rare they are they're so rare that last expansion in legion I got one out of how many hours I played. I seriously played so many hours of that game that you would think I would have got a couple when I was in, you know, Argus. And honestly, you can only get it from Argus, and it gives you 2,000 rep right now for every rep inside Legion. It's crazy. But I will say right now, it's like finding a unicorn and saying, ooh, it's mine. I mean, because honestly... It's apparent hassle to get it, and plus the rares are not always up. Some rares have long, the ones who actually drop it more often, and so forth. So I suggest you just do everything you can to do rep. Just go to your world quest, go to your emissaries, and anything that gives you rep for the current expansion that you're in. Because by the time you get one, you will probably be max rep anyways. And literally, I am not actually over-exaggerating. That's the way it works. I'm honestly, I've seen people in Argus just complain about it and say, man, I haven't got one of these soul stones. And I'm like, dude, if you would have just been spending most of your time doing everything else, if you haven't done it, you would probably be to where you need to automatically. All right, guys, so we are on the spreadsheet. I will say right now, if you want to check out all the document, it's going to have everything, you know, from the days of 11 all the way up to now. I think we did 10 too as well. We covered 10 last one, but I will say right now, we got a total of 311,390 gold. It is amazing, guys. We're almost there. We're hope we can hit, you know, 400K by 14th. But I don't think we are. Or actually the 15th, because that's when it's going to be a Tuesday reset. So hopefully we can hit that 400k. Let me know in the comments below what I should be, you know, adding to it. If you see something missing, 
But as you can see, we're doing ult Saturdays. That's going to be where I pick an ult that I didn't do anything on. And we just do stuff, okay? We do Hellfire Cathedral, Black Rock Foundry, Throne of Thunder, Siege. Like, those are just a little examples that I did on this Saturday. We can include more things if you want to. Let me know in the comments below. I can actually add it to it. But as you can see, we did Broken Shore and Freehold for two hours. That there's more spots than what I showed you in the past. So... Don't think I'm just going to do Freehold. Like I said, I'm going to try to stay away from Freehold. But it's kind of hard whenever if I do experience with something and it's low, I want to make that goal up before I can hit that 20k a day. This is that challenge. Remember, you got to hit that 20k a day. There's some times that I almost didn't hit that 20k, but we did it, guys. So I do want to say that the last day that I updated, I did have 3 hours and 35 minutes. I could have used that 25 minutes to actually do something else. But real life called, how to go, guys. I, you know, I can't control those things. You know, when someone tells you, hey, you got to go do this, I ain't got to go do it. So with that said, there's a lot of stuff coming to this. I really want to expand this. I want to make some more graphs. I want to make some more, you know, these things that I have ideas for. If you're enjoying this and if you're with us, let me know your outcome that you got so far. Are you on day 13? Are you on day 12? It's actually day 13 since it's updating on Sunday. So if you're on day 13, let me know your total. Right now, I'm at 311,390. I will be doing it Sunday tonight because I haven't had a chance at all. I've been doing videos and so forth. Guys, I'm having fun with this. And if you are, let me know in the comments too as well. Because the whole point about doing this challenge was to help out people. I really want people to get their gold and get enough gold to have what they want to do before Shadowlands. Because you got to remember, there's going to be some key points in Shadowlands that you need to actually look at. And I will be covering that in the near future. Now, with that said, guys, this is the last segment that is without any spoilers, okay? Right now, I'm going to tell you thank you so much to all my patrons out there. Y'all guys are amazing. I want to say welcome to my new patrons. If you haven't checked out my Patreon, make sure to do so because it helps me out. And the more we actually have there, the better we can actually put more time to. And also too as well, I will say right now that we give a loot box every month of the beginning of the month, the first week. If you can't make on dates that we actually get together, you will always have your loot box no matter what. It comes with pets, mounts, and so forth. So, first week of every month you get it, as long as you're a patron of $15 or more. So, let's move into the other thing, okay? The spoiler that's coming. Spoiler warning. If you do not want to see Alpha, if you do not want to see anything that can ruin anything, or maybe you just don't want to see it, leave now. And thank you so much to watching my video. Y'all guys are amazing. And I'm going to say right now that this will be it. Alright guys, if you're here, you're going to be seeing Alpha already. Now we're going to start off with Rivendreth. Now I do want to say right now, if I'm asking your names, I do apologize. But this is all new to me and obviously not everybody is doing what I'm going to be doing. And that's going looking for gold stuff. Now as you can see right here, it's actually going to be the manifestation of greed. This guy is a moving treasure chest. This is actually pretty cool because he can be found around the whole area. And honestly, if they don't fix the spawn rate, then what's going to happen is that he spawns other mobs. And you can keep killing the mobs and looting from them. Now, I don't know if you can actually, you know, keep doing this, and I don't know if it's an exploit, or I don't know if it's actually against TOS to do something like this, but I will say that if it is an in-game thing, you can literally probably sit here and kill his mobs and not kill him, and, you know, just loot, 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 but to be real, they're not going to let you do that. They're probably going to have spawned so many, then you kill him and loot his whole body, but I think the concept of a moving treasure chest is pretty awesome, and it's something reminds me of Diablo. Whenever the goblins go and you kill them, and you go in a portal, or if you just get their stuff, it's a good addition, and they're like moving treasure chest on your map, so you're looking at them, you're like, hey, wait a minute, is it moving? When I first saw it, I was like, wow, crazy. But anyways, this other zone that I'm in is the starting zone that you can actually start in alpha. Now, I do want to say right now, I don't know the name exactly i'm not gonna massacre a name once i learn names and get it down to the t i will start saying the names the, like they are not just new zone and so forth now with that said this npc right here is actually going to give you some rares gives you three rares to be exact this is a real quick battle stuff and honestly if you have some ults you can come get some free gold here because they drop some items that you can sell and they'll sell from anywhere from 80 to all the way to 120 but i do want to say right now that i don't know the full extent of what they drop they might drop pets they might drop mounts i don't know but they just dropped loot 
for me and this could change when it goes live but i'm gonna say right now it looks like it is intended so let's hope it stays there because like i said if you start off at this zone you literally can come your ults every day and do this for free loot now i do want to say right now too as well this spot right here is going to be back to the dracula zone i'm gonna call it dracula zone and honestly there's a lot of humanoids here now with humanoids usually they drop the tailoring stuff now i have not checked out the professions because they're not up and i can't confirm if it's going to be silk cloth or fur i don't know for sure okay but once i find out i will let you know about this spot because this spot has a lot of potential and the spawn rate is really good usually the spawn rates stay the same from alpha to beta and actually going into live when it comes to regular mobs when it comes to rares and stuff like that they usually tweak it but at this point we're actually looking at the same thing i'm hoping it stays because it's a great spot if it doesn't guys i will find you better spots if it turns out that the humanoids are dropping the cloth if they are then this is going to be great if not i'll find you another spot but taking consideration the knowing the spots and stuff like that ahead of time and like i said again please take for a grain of salt that things might change i'm not saying you're going to get 400 new cloth here per 30 minutes no i'm not saying anything that i'm just showing you spots that i think that you will like and actually be prepared it is in the halls of atonement which is a starting type place it's not really a starting place you don't start there but you're going to get there very very early on when you come to this place i do want to say right now too as well if anything changes uh, you know i'm going to keep y'all updated i'm gonna let y'all guys know about professions and so forth everything gold with alpha i'm gonna let you know okay if you want me to cover anything else let me know in the comments below i done the tower which is plainly amazing i love it and i've done other stuff and it's fun but honestly i don't want to do something that you don't want to see guys and if you're here watching me still you wanted to see alpha and i want to do a lot more with alpha but in again i want people to enjoy my content but like always guys if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and stay stashy